A hearty welcome to all of you. In this video, we are about to discuss the main concepts which we indulge in our research papers and thesis and dissertations, that is discussions and conclusion. One should know what is the main difference between the discussion and conclusion. Let us start it with point by point. Very first point, let us have a small a chart like thing between discussion and conclusion. Very first, in discussion, the very first point comes into mind is here the interpretation of what are the results that have been come here with respect to subjective or objective analysis. They are going to be interpreted and then analyzed similarly on the grounds of subjective and objective analysis. The counterpart of the step in conclusion is we discuss about the applicability of the results, how they are going to be utilized in various stages and where they are going to be applied. Means we have discussed the results applicability in simple words. Moving to the second one, main point here. Once the results are established, if we compare these results with the previously published works in the literature, means same type of works if available in the literature, we compare our results with those results and draw one, kind, one type of fine point what we have achieved. This is how the second point goes on. Coming to the second point in Conclusion, we here verify how it is, how is it useful for the science, means scientific community, that is researchers, how it is useful, that is the results achieved from the particular experimentation or thesis, how it is useful for scientific community. And similarly, we look for how it is useful for society on a large scale, means we check for what are the implications if we get these results is discussed in the conclusion part of the dissertation or paper. And then coming to the next last point in discussions, we discuss about the limitations and unexpected outcomes. Means we draw when we get the results and compare the results with the previously published work, we come to a point that there are some limitations on this work and they have to be overcome. Similarly, if any unexpected outcomes, that is unexpected results have achieved, it is not guaranteed that we get the same results that have been said in the objectives. Sometimes we might get some astonishing results, some breakthrough results in our works. Those results are also to be discussed in the discussion part of the research work. On the same grounds, in conclusion, the overall significance means the overall importance of the entire research work or thesis has to be clearly highlighted. Along with that, one should be able to tell what type of study or what type of work they are going to extend the results that have been achieved here for their future work or any other future researchers can go through this work and start their research work in future. Like that, we can provide the future scope also if that thing must be discussed in the conclusion itself. This has been a small attempt to make a clear picture about the discussions and conclusions in any research thesis or a research article. One should keep these points in mind. I hope this video will help you to have a clear bifurcation and make your work a better one. I request you to please subscribe our channel, share our videos and kindly encourage us to share our knowledge throughout all. And if any suggestions are there, you are heartily welcome to provide us in your comment section. Thank you for watching our videos.